Well, today I'm going to show you how I molded in or Frenched in this headlight here. So tag along for this. All right, so basically I just started off, I mounted my headlight bucket in from the back because that's how you now mount them in when you French them. Um, I centered up my headlight ring with the stainless trim ring in it. Um, that's pretty important to do is make sure that you get this nicely centered up. Um, so that's what I've done now. I centered it in the headlight and uh, basically just went and tacked it into place with a couple tacks um, and then stood back and looked at the car. I did. Um, just quickly tack on a piece of sheet metal up the top um, and stand back just to see if I was going to like the way that this flows. It's very important that for whatever you're doing for your project, that it basically flows the way that you want it to, that it looks how you want it to look on the car. Um, so that's what I did. Like I said, stood back, took a look at it for a while, made sure that I liked the way that it looks. Your car is going to be much different than this. Um, I have this peak in these headlight rings as well. So they're just slightly peaked up, um, which is kind of the look that I'm going for. Um, so uh, like I said, I had that piece of sheet metal sitting up here. I can find it. Um, so I had this just basically sitting on the top like that. So I could stand back and get a visual of, do I like this? Do I like the way that it looks? And that look there, the way that it comes down, I like that it still keeps the basically the roundedness of the fender um, and then comes out to the headlight like that. So I'm going to like that look. I like the way that that's going to look um, from the other side. Looking back at it, you know, I'm going to like that the way that it transitions out. So it still keeps the, you know, the roundness of the fender. And I mean, if I hate it in the future, I'll cut it back out and do something totally different. But um, I'm liking the way this is looking. I'm liking the way the side's going to look once this is all smoothed out. Um, so I'm going to bring a piece all the way around. So I made a cardboard template right here. Uh, so basically just wrapped the cardboard around and made my template of where it's going to need to come down around the side. Okay. And that side in here, basically till I get rid of this ridge. There's a ridge you can see all the way around. Um, so until I get rid of that ridge is basically where I want that, um, my sheet metal to go and then stop. And then the rest of this, once I tack this in, um, it'll just be uh, fiberglass body filled in that seam. Um, and that'll take up the rest of that. And sure, I mean, you could go and weld this whole thing in. You could make a whole new trim ring, like a whole new outside sheet metal piece um, that's going to wrap the whole way around. You can smooth these curves all out of the fender. I mean, it's a custom. So there's so many different ways to do it. Um, that there's right ways, wrong ways, but really, there's not really any wrong way. Me putting filler in this seam to smooth this out, I mean, it's going to be just fine. Again, it's just going to be a little bit of filler that I'm going to put in that seam just to get rid of this gap all the way around here. Um, and then where the larger gap is on the sides, that's going to be, you know, with sheet metal and again, filled out. So what I'm going to do now is cut out the piece of sheet metal for this here to this template. Um, and then I'm going to show you basically making up this peak um, and how I round this whole thing out. Um, so I'm going to get to that now and cut this piece of sheet metal out. So I've now got my piece cut out. Um, and what I've done is just basically marked where the peak needs to be. When I did my template here, I made a center line on it. Um, so I've marked out where the peak needs to be. So now I'm just going to go and start shaping this around. Um, and I'm going to use my pipe anvil and show you how I do that. So let's go over to the anvil now and uh, show you how I'm going to make sort of this shape. So because I have this template, um, I'm going to use this as my guide when I'm matching it up and we'll go from there. All right. So this is what I call my pipe anvil. A lot of people call it that. It's a Gene Winfield trick that uh, a lot of people have shown making on the internet. Um, and basically just three different size pipes welded to a stand. I, I don't even know if I have a hundred bucks in this whole thing. Um, so these pipes I got, and even this metal, um, there's a local 
uh, metal supply yard that has like basically scrap metal um, that they sell the big chunks of that they get. Um, so I'm sure local to you, there's one as well. Um, and so I happen to find these three different pipes um, and just basically put a washer in between them, set them down on my welding bench so they were level um, and put a washer in between them so that I can slip the metal down in between and then tack them, welded the ends on either side. Um, and what I did, a little trick that I did that I don't know that anybody else I've seen done is basically I extended the end um, of this pipe and as well as my smaller pipe on the other side. Um, so if I need to make a circle out of something, this is great for um, doing brake lines and stuff to try and wrap the brake line around, make those curly cues in the brake line. You can kind of do it on here if you're careful. Um, so that's what I did. I stuck those ends out a little bit farther on either side. Uh, like I said, just to give me that little thing um, and then basically just made a, a base for it here. Um, simple T on the top and a T on the bottom. And then what I did is weld this pipe across here. So if I have to take a big piece of sheet metal um, and bend it up and over, I can stand on this and I'm not tipping the thing over. And then my legs don't need to be very long either. It's a small, compact unit to push up against the wall. But I have found it really, really helpful using this. Um, to make stuff on the car and I highly recommend if you're going to be doing a lot of this type of body work to um, go ahead and make a pipe anvil like this. So all I did um, to make this curve is basically I stuck this down in the end on my little pipe and then gave it a bend both ways. Um, gave it a bend so that I got my little peak center um, and then I hammered the rest of it out um, on the larger pipe here um, to get that shape. So that's what I'm going to do now. Basically going to put this in the end and uh, go from there, but I need my gloves. So I also use this to hammer on too, and I use a dead blow hammer because it's just not as loud um, and still gets some nice shape in the metal. So I like to use a dead blow hammer when I'm smashing stuff on here. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to start out doing is putting this in um, and basically getting my peak here. I made my lines of sort of where I want this to go so I can follow it as a reference. One side, Let's try it from the other. Get that. Okay. Get that a little bit off. Okay, so now I've got my peak pretty much centered. So we can compare it to this. So that follows my original quite nicely. So I like that. I can also go back to the car and check it over there as well. But what I'm going to do now is try to shape this curve on either side. So I'm just going to put these down the end and give them a slight bend over. And again, that's following my template pretty good. spot there. So that follows my template pretty good. So now let's go back over to the car um, and we can try that on there. I imagine I'm going to have to come back to this and do some hammering with it um, to get the shape a little bit smoother. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now because I can see I got a bit of a flat spot. So all I'm going to do is hammer this out a bit. Try to get rid of that flat spot. Go on my other one. There we go, that's a bit better. Just smooth that out a bit. And then I know that I need to flatten this back part out. So we can put it. So now I've got my peak, you know, it did flatten out the side a little bit, but we'll have to play with that when we go over to the car, but I've got my peak and then it flattens out quite a bit back here. Just All right. So let's uh, tweak this a little bit more. Front edge.
There we go. Okay, so let's go back to the car and see how this looks. Okay. I'll line this up on here. So see, you can, I need, obviously need a lot more shape in this, so I'll just curve that around by hand for now. But that peak looks like it's right in the right spot. And as I bend this around, it follows nicely. That's going to work really good. I think I need to round this out a little bit more. Nope, we'll bring it back up to the peak. Yeah, that'll work. So because we have a bunch of curves in here, it is, I mean, it is kind of tricky to uh, get all the curves. So I'll just try and bend this by hand a little bit around the side. Get this one. It's always nice if you can to have the actual shape in the metal than trying to force it down. Tack weld in the way there. So I'm going to have to tack this into place to really get it to stay and sort of manipulate it a little bit more. But as long as I have it, oh, and by the way, I'm using 20 gauge on this so that it's easier to work with. Um, I just find that it works a little bit easier and uh, you're not fighting it as much, especially for this. Again, the sheet metal on this car obviously is pretty thin and pitted, so um, welding up the thicker metal, this sort of matches up a little bit more. Okay, so I want to get this and peaked just a little bit more. It's a little bit, it's just not quite peaked enough. So I'm going to uh, hammer that out again on that pipe anvil and try to just peak the center of this part up a little bit more. Okay, so here's where this side is coming in handy. Go back to the car. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now, I got to grind that tack weld off. Um, what I'm going to tack this ring on better. Um, because I like where everything's sitting. I like where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this ring on as best I can because again this metal is quite pitted. Um, so I'm going to tack this on a bit better. Make sure that my fit up is nice um, underneath if I need to hammer anything or whatnot. Um, and then I will start tacking this piece on and uh, we'll have our headlight fringed in. So I did treat all this rust stuff with uh, rust spray. Um, it doesn't look like it, but anyways, I have, so it should all be fine.
All right, so there's that uh, all tacked into place. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of grinding, grind down these ugly welds. Um, when you got some dirt and junk in the welds, they tend to grow like that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they grow little balls on them. It's kind of annoying. Um, but anyways, I will go down and grind this down a little bit and then finish welding all this stuff up. And uh, then we can bolt the headlights in and see what it's gonna look like. All right, so there's the uh, finished product. Headlight in, chrome ring in or stainless, whatever it is. The top piece is all Frenched in. Now, obviously I need to body work that out and fill it with some uh, filler in there, which I will. But that looks great. It's giving it the look that, uh, that I'm after. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, that's gonna work really well, Frenching in that headlight like that. And uh, yeah, pretty excited about that. Let me know what you think. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this one here. You can see I got that headlight Frenched in nicely and uh, I'm really happy about that. So now I'll just go ahead, I'll take the same pattern and just flip it upside down to do the other side. I've got a little bit of work to do. I need to fix up a clip for the other side. I've only got three of the screw holes. I'd like to have all four, so I'll have to fix that up for the other side, but this is gonna do it for this one. Hey, thanks for tagging along on this. Make sure you hit the subscribe, smash the like, follow along with all my other builds. I appreciate it very much. Thanks and take care.